The first step in making a gauge block build is determining the intended dimension and then writing it down. For this demonstration, we'll be assembling blocks to produce a build of 1 inch, 648 and 9 tenths. To begin, examine the gauge block set and choose a block that includes the finest level of precision in your decimal number. In many cases, this number will be in the 10 thousandths column of our target size. In our example, that number is 9 10 thousandths of an inch. So, we've gone ahead and chosen a block from the set measuring 109 10 thousandths. Next, we'll take that block number and subtract its measurement from our intended dimension, giving us a remaining amount of 1 and 548 thousandths. Our choice for block number 2 will include numbers found in the thousandths and hundredths decimal column of our target size. In our example, this number is 48 thousandths. We find a block measuring 148 thousandths in our set. So, we'll choose that block and then subtract its measurement from the previous number, leaving us with a remaining amount of 1 inch, 400 thousandths. At this point, our gauge block build consists of two blocks. Next, we'll find a block that includes the number found in the tenth decimal column of our target size. In our example, this number is 4. A block measuring 4 tenths of an inch is available in the set, so we choose this block and then subtract its measurement from the previous number, leaving us with 1 inch. Our gauge block build now consists of 3 blocks. For our fourth block, we'll be looking for one that includes the whole number of inches of our target size. In our example, this number is 1. We find a block measuring 1 inch in our set, so we choose this block and subtract its measurement from the previous number, giving us a remainder of 0. This means our gauge block build consists of 4 blocks. Next, wipe off each surface with a clean soft cloth to prepare the blocks for the assembly process, which is called ringing. Ringing displaces air between the finely finished surfaces, causing them to cling together, and involves two simple steps. Step 1. Hold the blocks perpendicular to one another. Then slide the two surfaces against each other using moderate finger pressure until the blocks are centered. Step 2. Rotate the blocks 90 degrees and align their edges. Continue ringing the rest of the blocks together until you've completed your build. To finish the job, recheck your work with a micrometer to confirm that no math errors were made during the build.